My name is Danielle Cooley. I am a graduate student in Steinhardt's Counseling for Mental Health and Wellness program, uh, graduating this May. So I'm currently in internship and I am working with a range of populations. My youngest client is currently 16. My oldest is 36, uh, 33. Um, but ultimately, I would really love to center my work and uh, to be able to create um, groups, uh, retreats, and um, other interventions that center around support for postpartum mothers and parents, um, in particular, uh, queer folks and Black women. Um, currently, one of my clients um, is seeking my support um, due to her experience um, postpartum. Um, so that is something that is a real passion of mine uh, around birthing rights for uh, birthing people. Advice that I would give is really to have a strengths-based approach. Um, I'm also a member of uh, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, which is a community conscious and action oriented organization. And one of our founding principles is service. Um, so I believe that one, one piece of advice that I would give um, anyone who is really looking to further this work is to get out there and support, find ways that you can be a part of communities, um, especially marginalized communities. I think back to this quote by Audre Lorde. Um, in summation, it's a quote about self-care, uh, but not just self-care. Um, she states how self-care is an act of political warfare, um, which means that in order to actually fight injustice, you need to ensure that you're caring for yourself first, um, especially um, if you are a member of a marginalized population. Um, so I personally um, am someone who wanted to get into this work in terms of supporting um, individuals through therapy and therapeutic um, interventions, because I find that often uh, we are constantly fighting against a society that is um, constantly reminding us that we don't belong or we aren't enough. Um, and that can be really tiring, can wear on you. Uh, so I try to remind my clients every day that you have to take care of yourself first. Um, so it motivate, that really motivates me um, to ensure that they're caring for themselves first because unfortunately the world that we live in won't care for us. Um, so we have to find that within and ensure that we're protecting ourselves so that we can continue to fight injustice and so that we have the energy to really um, withstand um, the injustices that are facing us. It's so funny. So I have a background as a doula. Um, I was, uh, oh, I can't remember. I was trained as a birth doula, I wanna say in October of 2019. So it was like right before the pandemic. But I learned early on about the injustice um, facing um, black women through like, the black maternal health crisis. Um, it was something I was really passionate about, but I wasn't interested in getting a medical degree. Um, so being a doula, I was able to, I had the opportunity to support my best friend who was giving birth. Um, it was her second birth after a first really traumatic experience with her first child. Um, she wanted that support from me. And there was a night where I provided her and her partner with some advice that um, would kind of ease both of their minds um, and the tension that they were feeling, um, the, the nerves, all of that that they were feeling, experiencing. Um, leading up to the birth. And in that moment, I was like, wow, like I would love to be able to counsel people around how to um, support yourself um, in times of you know, high stress. Um, and I started looking up, how do I become a counselor and what um, types of therapy there are. And it has been something that was truly a turning point in my life because I was an educator. Um, I was a teacher for eight years and assistant principal for three. And at that moment, I was like, I want to do this. 